Hey guys, Davison here. Because I cannot be arsed to set up my DSLR, I'm gonna do this with my uh, sparkly fedora, Mr.s. And um, talk about Casey Neistat quitting daily vlogging. So for those of you not in the know who've been living under rocks or voting for Trump, um, Casey Neistat is a well-known YouTube daily vlogger who has been vlogging his life for about the past two years and a bit. And he rose from something like, I guess, seven, several hundred thousand subscribers to well over five million subscribers. And he's probably the most widely recognized YouTube vlogger right now. But of course that is all going to change because he just dropped the bomb, boom! It really rattled my fedora. <laughs> that he is quitting vlogging because he states that he doesn't see it as a challenge anymore and that it's getting in the way of him doing bigger and better things because he's expending so much energy 16 hours a day making these vlogs that he cannot focus on projects that require more time and energy to produce. So. I'm gonna unpack this. Now, I, as a YouTube creator, I've been making videos for the last, I think it's like eight years now, going on nine years. I briefly have tried daily vlogging, I think three times now. Um, and what I can say is that daily vlogging is exhausting because there is no end to it. You get up every single day knowing that you will have a video due by the end of the day. And not only that, your audience usually grows with the number of videos that you release and they have demands and expectations of their own that you continuously have to meet, being that you have to remain entertaining, engaging, and as Casey Neistat uh, projected, positive. Like part of the reason for Neistat's success is that it it seemed as if he was showing us the impossible and doing the impossible with a smile on his face. But that said, a lot more of us perhaps should have been skeptical that that facade was merely a facade and is not the reality of one's daily life. His daily life appeared, uh, appear, ah, fuck, what can I talk? His daily life appeared interesting and entertaining precisely and exceptional precisely because it was, you know, to a certain degree contrived and faked and a product. Life is messy. Life is boring. Life is wearing an ugly fedora and like not wearing a fucking bra and like, you know, I don't know where's this laundry over there. You know, do you want to see my fucking laundry build up over the course of the week? I don't think so. You want to see me fly a drone over the city of Montreal? And then you want to see me uh, get into a helicopter to catch my 26th flight of the month, right? And so I think Casey Neistat, despite what he says that, you know, he wants to move on to different styles of projects, I think the daily vlogging started to chip away at his life. It's just superhuman to make a new film style vlog every single day and it's unsustainable. And he, he proved that in, in saying, I, I'm not fucking doing this anymore. And like I said, back to the three times I tried vlogging, I hit the point where I was like, I do not want to do this every day. I don't want to slap on a happy face. I don't want to have to make my life interesting. I prefer making videos that are, are social experiments or isolated, say 30 day projects, but I don't want to show you like who I'm dating, what my son has been up to, you know, my fucking laundry. I don't want to have to look good every single, you know, morning. And I don't want to take 16 hours of my day to do it. Now, mind you, that said, most YouTubers who have any level of success, like I have like 35 million views or something like that, you know, we are extremely hardworking, we're extremely focused, we're extremely dedicated, and we probably on average work at least 10 hours a day, at least, this is, you know, but then add to that that like you have this daily deadline, it's just so much pressure. And it's like such an invasive, as I just repeated 10 times, art form to show your life, although it's not, it's just not real life. And I have no doubt, that Casey Neistat uh, started to have strained relationships with a lot of his friends and family. I mean, his wife, notoriously from what we've seen, seems to be a little bit opinionated and difficult. So I think, you know, 
she probably got tired of, of, you know, once the day would be over, instead of Casey spending time with her, he'd have to be step spending three to four hours editing. And like, I think she's with him, you know, knowing full well that he is an entrepreneur and he's extremely hardworking, but I think that it started perhaps to put an additional strain on, on their relationship that uh, he didn't want. Because I think, I think Casey Neistat, first and foremost, is actually a family man and he does care about his family. And he showed a lot of those um, clips in his farewell video. And um, it also, yeah, changes your relationship with your friends being that, you know, you're always filming them. And then sometimes some of those friends want a piece of, a, of the pie, right? The AdSense dollars, they see that you're doing well and they're like, well, hey, you know, even if they don't say it explicitly, they start to resent you, I think a little bit. So I see why he ended his project, but I don't think it's exactly for the reasons that he stated. And I don't, like I said, I don't ever want to become a daily vlogger. And I don't think you as a person should ever aspire to that either, unless you're willing to sacrifice, you know, your entire life to it and your relationships and your sanity and your fedora. <laughs> My name is Davison. I upload videos here whenever I fucking want and they're fucking random. And you got to fucking deal with it. Okay. I'm not fucking flying the drone every day and showing you some, you know, sped up footage of the beautiful sunrise in my ugly backyard or the sped up footage of my fucking laundry basket. You should subscribe anyways. I'll take over nice dad's job. And my main channel is Davison Video. This is just where I put the shit. The shit. <laughs> uh, by the way, because I've talked for way too fucking long, I think nice dad is going to regret this later because it's going to be really hard to reproduce the level of success that he managed to garner with his vlogs. But it does provide the opportunity for someone else to pick up where he left off, doesn't it? But it ain't gonna be me! Lala Davison video.